You know, this place is alive and the action's going crazy, even in the back, man. I'm telling you, when these guys come to the back, they are ready for lockdown, no doubt. And as we take care of all the business here in Impact Wrestling, the man that so conveniently wasn't here earlier, I heard a little bird tell me he's arrived. So, Mr. Eric Bischoff, come on down, my brother. Wow. When you think of the history between Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff, Jazz like, I mean, it goes back something like 20 years. Who would have ever thought that we reached this point? The confrontation between the two with Hogan as the boss. Oh, oh my, absolutely. I mean, listen, it's not just that Hogan and Bischoff were best friends, but they're, they're business partners. Everything. I mean, and, and now that's just gone now. Who knows what's you gonna know, happen? Hulk, it's I don't know, ironic comes to mind. That you and I are here at this point on opposite ends of the spectrum, so to speak. I mean, who would have ever imagined, looking back at our careers and our lives, that someone would come to us and say, you know, 2012, you guys are going to be facing each other across an arena on opposite sides of the fence, actually trying to undermine each other. Who would have ever thought that? Not me. But here we are. And now that I, I, I recognize it and I realize it, it makes sense really when you think about it because the differences between you and I are, well, too numerous to mention. Let's leave it at that. But the one key difference, the one most important difference between you and I, Hulkster, is that you're not a leader. You're not the type of person that people will follow into battle. You're not the type of person that has a vision that others will base their lives and their careers on. Now you're an opportunist. You tag into whatever situation is the easiest and most likely to benefit you, where I, on the other hand, am a true leader of men with vision, with the power and the intestinal fortitude to make real. That's who I am. And you are also the leader of blowing hot air into a huge room like the Impact Zone. And you also can blow hot air on and on and on. And you know something, Eric? Since you're such a great leader, brother, we're taking care of all the lockdown business right now, today. So instead of your son Garrett and Gunner in a steel cage, why don't we find out what kind of leader you really are? Why don't you lead the Eric Bischoff team? Why don't you put together Eric Bischoff's finest? And you know what? I'm going to talk to Garrett, and I'm going to have Garrett put together a team. In one way or the other, we're going to make sure that all the business gets taken care of a lockdown because... With me holding all the cards in the deck as a general manager, I'm gonna lay it to you just like this, brother. If your team wins, the team that you put together, Garrett will never ever be on the roster again here at Impact Wrestling. But on the other hand, if Garrett's team wins, you are gonna hit the road, brother. And to make things really, really interesting, if Garrett team wins, you'll never, ever use the Eric Bischoff name again. I don't care if you're at the mall signing autographs. I don't care if you're on an independent wrestling show shaking and hiding in the corner like you do best. If your team loses, you're out of here and you will never, ever use the Bischoff name again. How about it, brother? Do we have a deal? Oh yeah, we got a deal. You, you damn right we got a deal. Okay, Bischoff, Eric Bischoff. So at lockdown, one way or the other, this thing between you and Garrett 
ends at lockdown. Lethal lockdown. It's a tradition. It's a staple in our, our lockdown pay-per-view, but the stakes test, they've never been higher. No, oh, you are not kidding. There's a lot of the line here. You put me in this situation, you are a son of You can see Eric Bischoff's living. I don't blame him. He might be gone out of here if this team loses.